the uh, third championship. Thank you, Brad. For all of us, we appreciate you investing in this bowl game. And I want to commend uh, John Grant for his assiduous work in, in reconnecting the um, Air Force Reserve back to the Celebration Bowl. I'm John Grant, Executive Director of the Air Force Reserve Celebration Bowl. We're excited this year to welcome two great teams as the North Carolina A&T Aggies take on the Alcorn State Braves here in Atlanta, Georgia, in Mercedes-Benz Stadium. Each of these great institutions are vying for a national championship. So this weekend, a champion will rise here in Atlanta, Georgia. The Celebration Bowl has been tremendous up until this point. Press conference, the facilities, the stadium, the hotel stay. Student athletes excited, the commissioner is excited, Southwestern Athletic Conference is excited. First class bowl, first class event, and we're just happy to be a part of it. Um, the biggest thing I took was, especially from Tiffany Green, talking about networking and building relationships relentlessly. Um, sometimes I feel, feel myself kind of going into a shell because I don't want to nag people. Um, so she gave like great tips on, you know, how to stay in contact and, you know, just be um, memorable without being, you know, aggravating it to a certain extent. Well, I think one of the most important things they can do is chart their course and so say to themselves, where do I want to be? Wherever it is I see myself, get a plan to get there. Using internships and finding ways to carve out your own experiences, whether it's a podcast or a blog, vlog, whatever it is, you can uniquely craft uh, anything in favor of you and share it with the world so that others know that I am hungry, I am dedicated, and I'm trying to get after it. I'm a great candidate, so look at me when you're considering me for whatever position it is. down here in Atlanta, uh, seeing the, everything that goes along with the Celebration Bowl. For those people that don't know, it's more than just a football game. It's a reception. It's a celebration of service. There's so many things that go along with supporting these young student athletes, and I'm just glad to be a part of it on an annual basis and hope it's a continuing relation. And what you need to do is make sure you're here for next year's Air Force Reserve Celebration Bowl. This weekend's all about a champion who will rise and be the pinnacle of black college football. We have two teams who have been special all year. One will take home the trophy. Uh, that's why we come back every year to crown a champion. That's what we're going to do. Pulls it out, looking towards Bell, wide open, 
Wing service. Touchdown. But there's a... Looking to get his rhythm back. Rolls out. Fires a strike complete to Leslie. Got a blocker out in front of him. Leslie finally tackled inside the five by Burks. They pop kick it down to the 21. Wilson. They're aware of this kickoff and abilities. Wilson found an alley. Wilson kicks in the turbo. There's that smoke. Touchdown, Aggies. It is all speed. He outran everybody. He missed a the tackle there. He turned on an extra gear that nobody else on the football. Bernard with plenty of time. Fires. Caught at the 22-yard line by Hicklin. As a &T will defeat Alcorn State. 24 to 22. As we take a look at today's Capital One player of the game, Lamar Raynard, the victorious quarterback for AT.